I'm sure it clears it out significantly. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, look, the, the lay of the land is everyone is waiting to see what Trump decides to do. And, and anyone who tells you they're not is lying to you. And he's going to decide on whatever time frame he desires. My suspicion is we won't know what he does until maybe this time next year. But, but we'll see. I don't have any idea either, any more than anybody else does. And I think there's a lot of navel gazing and prognostication. Trump's going to do what he wants to do, and he's going to do it on whatever timing he wants to do it. And I think all the people predicting and speculating about it are wasting their time. We'll see what Trump decides to do. I think he accomplished an enormous amount as president. I was proud to work hand in hand with him in achieving results for the American people. And I think regardless of whether he chooses to run or not, he is going to remain an incredibly important leader in the United States. Well, I think this election in November is not just going to be a wave. I think it's going to be a tidal wave. I think we're, Republicans are going to retake the House. I think we're going to retake the Senate. I think we're going to have big majorities in Congress. And, and the reasons are simple. The, the policies of the far left are a disaster. They're not working. Every single thing the Biden White House touches turns to crap. We've got skyrocketing inflation, we have mile-high gas prices, we have crime soaring out of control, we have chaos at our southern border, and, and as bad as all the domestic policy is, the foreign policy is even worse. Every enemy of America has gotten stronger, and America is at, in greater jeopardy because Joe Biden is ostensibly the commander-in-chief. I think people want to change the path we're on, and I think they want to move back in the direction of common sense.